good morning guys welcome to today's glorious day in today's video today's fun friday if you watched yesterday's video you saw that i bought the girls a new craft to do on fun friday they love the clay the polymer clay craft that we have i'm gonna save that when my grandkids come we're gonna do stuff like that's gonna be something we can do always but today's craft for fun friday is punch embroidery and it is so fun it is gonna be so fun I realized I ordered everything off of Amazon I realized today that I got the wrong embroidery paper or whatever you want to call it so I have to run out to the store so fast before school starts as fast as I can and get the right stuff so that we can get started luckily for us the girls are big enough that they are already getting started at home I told them what exactly they needed to do they're going to pick a pattern that they're going to transfer onto this embroidery cloth that I'm about to buy and they are going to pick like all their colors that they want to make it and then i'm going to teach them when i get home the problem with us is that sometimes i don't even have a chance to look at the stuff that we're going to be doing until like the day of or the day before and i just realized that this morning when i woke up at 6 a.m so that i could watch the videos to see exactly how to get started that i bought the wrong embroidery cloth so we're headed there i'm gonna get it and when we get back i have something else that came already we already had deliveries today sam yeah, so I'll show you guys when we get back another thing that we got. The thing about doing crafts with your family is that there's so much involved. Like, you can just get so many things. Like, you can just get sucked into it. So, that's why I like to start small until I figure out the things that my kids like to do. But look, you can even buy the patterns. Or, like, a little kit. That is so cool. And that's a punch needle one. This is insane. We just tried to get coffee, and why could we not get coffee, Sam? Coffee shop. This worker shortage. Why don't I just go workers. in, walk in? Do you want to walk in? Yeah, I'm hungry. I want to walk in. So basically, we couldn't go through the drive-through. We couldn't go through the drive-through because there's no workers. Sorry, our drive-through is closed because we don't have any employees to work it. Nobody can, and this is happening like all over the place, not just coffee shops, like. So many different places that have been closed because they don't have the employees. Nobody wants to work since COVID happened. They, like, they're, oh my gosh, I just, I've never in my lifetime seen a time when so many companies can't get employees to work. It's Friday, people don't want to work. Is it that the companies are, 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 yeah, would you? I mean, our minimum wage is $15. That's in Canada, $15 is the minimum wage for like. Not that bad. And terrible yeah it's not terrible well, I think I mean, you can't, you can't really when work. I started working years ago I made $18 an hour like Listen, 20 I, like 30 years ago I made $18 I was, an hour so when I'm not gonna date myself but when I was working my student wage was four dollars <laughs> when I started working I where I'm older than him and when I started working I made $18 an when hour I got my full-time job it was seven dollars and like, I made extra three bucks an hour. Yeah, so now, it's fifteen dollars for minimum wage in Canada. Sam got me this awesome, amazing bucket for chicken feed. You no, know you can use it for grain for horses too, but I love what I use for the horses. This is gonna be for our chicken for dog food, and that's what it's gonna be. I love the idea of dog food. I ended up getting a whole stash of stuff for our craft today. I got a Mastercraft vacuum. Sam got a, one. Sam got a Mastercraft vacuum. Why did you get that? Oh, well, maybe people can clean out their cars. Oh, good, because I need to clean up my car. I wanted to show you guys, in case anybody's interested in the craft that we're doing, I got the proper material. In fact, this isn't even the stuff that I wanted. I wanted, this is 12 counts. You can get like 18 and 19 counts. It just means the space between the holes. What are these for? You can do it on that instead. Well, this won't fit mine. Right. Yeah. Mine's bigger so I was thinking you could make like a sign with these ones. I got some shampoo. Wait, did you go to the dollar store? Yeah, I went to the dollar store without you. <laughs> I should have came. So I was able to find a bag of different colored wools, like browns and beiges for this craft. I got a whole bunch of new embroidery hoops, which I'm excited about. I wanted like to make a big sign that I could hang on the front door. So I got those. 
And then I got some felt for like to make the back. I'll explain. I also got these ones. Gabby's over here worried about her drink. All right, so I don't know. Those are another kind I found at a secondhand store, but I don't think they will work. Huh? So the girls have uh, printed out like a pattern they want to do. Oh, you're cleaning? I found this thing. Oh, you like that better? Yeah. All right, so we are cleaning up the trailer. Stall in the fireplace. It gets dusty and dirty in here. Under the table. Dad's gonna fix that so I can sleep there. Those was probably gonna sit there because we always sleep on the side. All right, and so like Sophie's cleaning. Do you guys know? Remember when Sophie was little? She used to be like a clean freak. Sophie, vacuum underneath the plastic there, and get the bugs in the window too. Yeah, I have to do that, but I gotta do All right, That's something I like to you see. You just sit there so I don't. All right, I'll come in. I'm gonna go do the chickens. I'll be right there. Okay. Can you bring a chicken to me? No. <laughs> you may think she's a weirdo for saying that, but she's not. <laughs> I would want a chicken with me while I'm cleaning too. I have some leftover squash guts that I had for dinner last night for the chickens. Clearly, they can smell it because they're actually like so close to me. <laughs> be gentle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. He is such a good leader. All right, so I just threw it on the ground. <laughs> a girl came from laying an egg. Whoosh, apparently they love squash. But before I go, I'm gonna show you guys this little rooster. Like, I, he is turning into this like, Stunning boy like he is so stunning see how his everything is red they can be red or they can be black I love me a red boy He's like get away from me. Hi Hi, he's so cute. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's his head looking so cute <laughs> He's just like a, woo. I love him so much and I love this girl because she is very outgoing. I love me an outgoing chicken. <laughs> I am gonna sit here. I am gonna sit here, have my naked smoothie, and watch Sophia clean. Cause that is what good moms do. It is time for me to stop by Sam's cherry tomato patch and get some tomatoes. Well, there was one and it was so good. All right, one tomato, it was worth it. Today is Gabby's special thing arrived in the mail and my battery's dying, so that's annoying. Gabby with the sunglasses. All right, Gabby, show them. What did we get today in the mail? I may have ordered two by mistake. So this is it, put it here on this. Two that came together. Well, I had something that says, I saw something that says this one's, oh, mm, it's got a sliver. So anyways, this is what I ordered for Gabby. It can, it's like a, a rope halter converter and it can turn any bridle into a rope halter. So Gabby's going to put that on her bridle and we're going to take a look at it. Yesterday we had an awful ride. And for awful, I don't, our horses don't do anything crazy. That's why we bought them. They're like the safest horses. Family, amazing, friendly horses, but neither one of them wanted to ride or had some kind of issue. Uh, Chino definitely was having halter issues. We tried him in a rope halter and we didn't have it put on exactly at the right. Like we tried it a little bit looser, we tried it a bit bigger, we lowered the nose band, but when we lower, lower the nose band, it gets too loose around his head. So I think maybe it's too big for him. That's my question to you guys. But it was moving up his face as she was riding and he didn't like that. And so I'm so excited to have this. <laughs> Gabby hurt herself now too. I had a sliver right up my finger now. So essentially, um, God gives you things at just at the right time when you, you need them. Socks in. Ruby. Come on, in. Ruby, in. And yesterday, literally a girl messaged me in the morning and said, hey, I use a converter. It changes any halter into a rope halter, any bridle into a rope halter. You should try it. And I saw it and I was hooked. Because I love my rope halter so much, I thought it was worth investing in. And it has, which one goes which? well, the one closest to his face. Yeah. So she's going to rebuild her bridle. I left. 
Sophie. <laughs> I left Sophie in the trailer. Who thinks that Sam should have built this fence on the other side of the poop pile? Well, hello, Gracie girl. How are you? Oh, so it's hard for you to do because it's a Western thing? No. Also, another girl. Another girl, yeah, Penny's throwing a fit. She's like, when I see you guys, I expect to go out there and eat. I'm taking her out for a walk, though. I'm taking her for a walk because I want her to start paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Penny's like, I am going out. It is grass time, and that is it, which is actually really good because I want her to learn to listen to me. Maybe I should get my rope halter. I don't get how it's supposed to stay on your horse. Like, where's the chin piece? Does it have to have a chin piece? Yes. All right, friends. <laughs> if Chino shakes his head, where do you think this is gonna go? Yeah, let's see, hold it up here. Okay. Is there no chin piece that goes with the bridle? No, we have to buy a piece probably. But like All right, well, someone else sent me a really nice leather bridle that has a rope halter attached. So, I don't know, that was, ow! Gracie here is pushing me with her bum. So today is boot camp, day one of boot camp, which is basically, hey, I did not ask you to walk. <laughs> I know she really wants to go eat, and eat grass. So yesterday we tried to walk, ride in that yeah. paddock and lately the horses have been moved over to that paddock to have to eat. So all of our, both of our horses were like, hey, it's eating time. And then we rode them and they both threw huge fits. So now Penny and I are practicing walking through the field and doing what I want to do and not doing what she wants to do. I've actually taken to walking my horse on both sides. When I, when I have the camera out, I walk her holding her with my left hand. When I don't have the camera out, I walk her on the right hand. And I do that because I think it's really good for her to learn to walk on both sides. yesterday Penny was giving me so much attitude I discovered today that that was because that I discovered today that she's afraid of that corner she's always been weird in that corner I always knew she was scared but it feels like it feels like she's getting worse in that corner throwing more fits and Chino didn't even give her any confidence yesterday so I took her down there and I did a bunch of work with her walking around and around and around the more scared she was the more circles we did and I think like that's where I need to start maybe Keep walking her down there and keep taking her there until it becomes like a second nature thing for her. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 